everyone, this is Jill with stampwithjill.com and the Stamp Simply Ribbon Store. Today we are going to do some partial die cutting and we are working with the Fall Flowers Floral Cluster Stamp and Die Set. Let's get started. Okay, the supplies that I have are a craft card base or oatmeal cookie, which is what I used. I have a hazelnut blend embossed layer here, and then I have a white panel that is cut slightly smaller than the brown. And we're gonna stamp on this one, and then I have a white panel for the inside of the card. And then I have some thin seam binding ribbon, some pearls, and some ink. So let's go ahead and get started with stamping the image. The first thing we're gonna do is stamp the white panel for the front of the card. So I've gone ahead and mounted my floral cluster image with the sunflowers, and I'm gonna go ahead and put my paper in my mini misty here, and I'm gonna secure it with the bar magnet. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and stamp this floral image on a panel of white. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink this up. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're just going to stamp that and make sure we get a nice clean image. And that looks really good. So now we're gonna go ahead and die cut this. So we're gonna take this out and I'm gonna put my die cutting right here on the table. Okay, so now that we have the image stamped, we're gonna go ahead and do the partial die cutting. And this is pretty straightforward since I want it cut towards the bottom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the die on the stamped image and I'm gonna hold it in place with some washi tape. Just like so. And we're just gonna put a piece of washi tape right on there so it doesn't wiggle or move. And we can add just another piece to be sure. And since I only want the bottom part of this cut, we're gonna line the plate up for here so i want to cut right around the bottom of this sunflower so the pressure from your die cutting machine is going to be where the double plate is so i actually would like this part to stay whole and only the bottom to be cut so when you put your plate on like that it will only cut what's below it so we're going to go ahead and run this through so you can see, now I have brand new plates, so they're gonna crackle a little bit. And when you take this off, you'll see that the bottom part is cut. So you'll have this partial die cut like this. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and move my die cutting machine out of the way so we can finish up the card. Okay, so I've taken this partial die cut image and I've colored it for you in an effort to save a little time in the length of the video. So we're gonna go over the colors real quick. For these lighter green leaves, I colored them with G43 pistachio and that's it. For these little babier leaves, I colored them in grass green and highlighted the inside of the leaf where the line is with mistletoe G46. For the sunflowers, I colored all of the leaves in Y15 cadmium yellow, and then I highlighted the center of the flowers where the lines are in the stamped image with Y19 Napoli yellow. For the center of the sunflower, I just colored it with E29 burnt umber, and then these berries are two-tone. They are colored with YR27 Tuscan orange as the base, and then with E15 Dark Suntan, I added just a little highlight at the edge of the berries. So it's all colored and we're ready to finish up the card. So first things first, we let's take a look at the sample. You can see that I have this cut on an angle. So the partial die cut is great, but it doesn't finish the card. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take some big scissors and you are gonna cut on an angle to that little edge where the partial die cut is. And then you're gonna do it again on this side. And that's what's gonna give you your angled cuts. So now you can see it's just a quick scissor trim 
and you have your partial die cut. So you can see what it looks like next to the sample. It's almost identical. It's a little tiny bit off, but each one will be a little different. So we are ready to go ahead and stamp that image. I used Sweet Friend for this card, and that Sweet Friend sentiment is part of the Summer Roses stamp set. This floral cluster has four stamp sets and a coordinating die that works with all of the sets. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull out that Sweet Friend and put it here. So this is where your stamp positioner comes in handy. I'm just gonna straighten out my little foam pad underneath and the paper and put this in here like so. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna line up your stamp and we can move it out a little bit because it's kind of close to the edge. And we're gonna just put Sweet Friend right there. This one is the perfect fit. There's quite a few small sentiments that will work for this. There's a get well, there's a, there's a bunch. So it doesn't really matter how you put your paper in as long as your stamp is lined up like that. So then I have some hazelnut blend ink and I'm just gonna stamp that right like so. And you have your perfectly aligned sentiment. All right, so now we are ready to finish up the card. Let me move a few things out of the way. Alrighty, so we have the card base and we have a panel for the inside. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in. There we go. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and tape this embossed layer right on the front of the card. like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tape this right here. And you can see the partial die cutting takes off the bottom edge. And I cut this one just a little bit smaller so it fits. Now, if you cut a little bigger, you can always trim to fit your card. From You can trim the top. All right, so now that we have this lined up, we are ready Oops, I glued something before I should have. So we are just going to fake tie up the ribbon here. So we're going to lift that up and put it back under so I can show you how I tied the bow. Since I forgot to put it on there first. All right, so now we're ready to tie the bow and add the pearls. So what you need, what I use to tie the perfect bow in the perfect spot is a mini glue dot. And I just take this off the roll here and I put it right where I want the bow to be, which is going to be right about there. And then I cut my ribbon a little bit longer. So what this does is it holds it in place. So you're not fussing trying to tie a bow around a card that's wiggling. So what you're going to do is you're going to push that right there. And now you can see it's in the perfect spot. And then you're going to make a loop with your finger tie it around in a bow, nothing fancy here. And if you pull this right tab first, you will get that nice flat um, bow center. So pull the right one first as you tighten it up and it'll always be in, the, in place because the glue dot is holding it. And then you're just gonna adjust your tails and wiggle your bow into place. So this one just needs to be loosened a little bit. And then what I did was I'm gonna trim these so they are a little bit longer. Oops, there we go. And then you're just gonna wiggle it until you get it exactly where you want it. And this needs to come down just a smidge. And there we go. So now all we have to do is add some pearls. So I have some pearls here and a pokey tool, and I literally just kind of scattered the little ones around the bottom so they popped off the cardstock here. And get those out of the way. Just a couple here and a few little ones over here. I always try to do an odd number, so that's five, 
I don't know why I like odd numbers. This will be six, and then we're gonna do seven, eight, and nine. So the ones on the white, because they're white on white, you can make them just a little bit bigger, or you can do them all the same size. Doesn't matter. But it kind of gives the floral image a little bit of a thing. There's a little tiny piece of paper scrap there, so just push that in, and there you go. So there's my card for today partial die cutting and I hope you learned something today and thanks for joining me. Mm -hmm.